Hey everybody, um, this is going to be a review on the Dream Smooth Move foundation from Maybelline in the color Natural Buff, which is 255. Um, the color isn't really, like it doesn't have a big impact on the review in general, but I will be putting my matte color down below, and if you're near my color or you are my color, then there's a very high chance that this will fit your skin tone as it fits mine perfectly, blends right in. If you hear any sounds, it's because my big family just came in and they're, they tend to be loud. So yeah, I apologize for that in advance. Anyway, in the haul video that I did, I listed some details about this, but I'm going to say them over just in case you didn't see that video or anything. The product is... <laughs> um, it looks like this, and when you pop it out on top, okay, now it's stuck. Um, it has a little applicator that I'm going to be using for touch-ups if I have to touch up throughout the day. But I have realized that while wearing this, even in the heat, even without a primer, it stays pretty well, um, considering. And I have oily skin, so that's saying something. Then you spin it open, and it looks like that. I'm trying to, the light to catch it so you can see. It really is moosey. Moosey, is that a word? But it is. And what else? It hydrates the skin. It says moisture on the little sticker thing right next to where you can buy them. It says 14 hours of moisturizing effect, something like that. And it does. My skin feels a lot smoother while wearing it, soft, and it looks dewy. And I like that look. So this is great. Um, it comes with 0.49 ounces and 14 grams of product. That would be, to me, its only flaw because it is a great product but it comes with very little if you can see I've only used it about two times and it's made a pretty I mean you can't see it on the camera but it's made a quite a dent for two times in the product um the way I apply it is I use the Rimmel Fix and Perfect foundation primer in number one zero zero one and I um, just apply it with my hands afterward I use this the foundation with my MAC 190 brush and I just apply it like that. This can also be used as also a concealer. I didn't have to put any concealer and I usually have very dark under eye circles. So this is good. Um, after that I use the NYC Smooth Skin Translucent Press Powder <laughs> to keep it in place and it's in 701A and I use just this fluffy brush that I got in a set from Marshalls, I believe. It's gotta be urban, but it's a really good brush. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, please put them below and I'll answer to the best of my ability. That's all I can really think. Oh, and I paid $9.49, almost $10. Well, my boyfriend paid $9.49, almost $10 for this product. And you can usually find in CVS, I don't know about Rite Aid. You buy one, you get another product 50% off, which is really good if you want to get the mousse concealer. But again, I, for my own color and my own experience, I don't really need the concealer if I just put a little more of this. Right. So, I'm probably babbling now, but I hope all of you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye, guys.